Love you, Kiryuma. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the channel for another Skater XL video. Today, we're going to go over how to customize every piece of gear on your custom character in Skater XL. Before we get started, though, I'd like to say thank you to Kiriyuma for sending me all these shoes, man. Like, if you guys don't already know, Kiriyuma is one of the brands that came to 1.1 in the update for Skater XL for all platforms. They sent me this pair of shoes early last summer. I've actually got to skate these quite a bit, and I was a little bit skeptical of the shoes before I tried them, but they're really not bad at all. I don't mind these at all. They're really flexible, and they're nice. I like the insoles. It kind of has like a cork insole and stuff. Look at that. These are the shoes I'm currently wearing IRL for skateboarding. So, I mean, it's only fitting that we wear the Kiriyumas today in the game because I actually do wear these shoes IRL. So, it only makes sense that we would put these on as our shoes in today's episode. But we're going to go over more than just the shoes. We're going to cover everything from the shoes to the pants to the shirts, to everything you can do. All right. So, here we are. We are spawned into the map here. And I have a bunch of custom gear that might not be available on all platforms, unfortunately. But I want to go over today for everybody uh, what you can do to make your character look as good as possible. Possible. So this guide will work for all platforms for the most part until we get to the pants and to the modded stuff. So currently what I have on is custom everything in, in the game. I have a complete custom skateboard. I have custom shoes which are available in the mod browser. These are the Pro Alchemy face skate shoes. I'm wearing Tom Asta's baggy pants. I also have my custom skin in the game too. So that I have my face put into my character and I have my tattoo on my arm which is the same as I have in real life. I also have this uh, custom black hat as well too which, which is not a in the game officially so this is a custom hat with the gear utilities mod all right so now that you guys seen what i was wearing previously i actually took everything off and i have everything default so everything i'm currently wearing in the game is available on all platforms and i'm going to fully customize this out in every single way to make my guy look as close to how I want it to look as possible. So currently there are two ways to get custom gear into the game. So there is one, only one way on console, but there are two ways on PC. So what you would do is go to the mod browser here. And from here, this is basically a link to the modding website where you can download custom gear, custom skin. So if you're looking for custom clothing, it's pretty simple. It's at a click of a button. You just go to whatever you want and you click it and download it like this right, right here, for example, like the Famoso drop. This would be sick to have. So let's just click it, install it, colored skin if you want tattoos and stuff. So the next thing we're going to do to install gear into the game, and this applies for every piece of clothing. So the mod browser is quite limited to what is available in the browser. But if you want to download clothing on PC, which it comes from anywhere, you can do that as well too manually. So you have to kind of manually install these one by one. So it's as simple as downloading whatever you want from the website and putting it into the folder. And then when, it, when it's in the folder, it will show up in the game. We're going to go right here to my file explorer. Where you want to go is your documents folder. So I'm going to, I'm going to back out all the way here. So go to this PC and probably your main drive. This is typically where you're going to find your documents folder of which you want to install your maps and gear. So your local drive, your main drive there. From there, we're going to go to your users, your name, whatever you're logged into, and then documents. There should be like a little page next to it, your documents folder. And if you have Skater XL installed, you should have a Skater XL folder in here. So you're going to click this Skater XL, and this is where you install your custom gear. So if you were to be installing gear manually, like I just shown you guys through the folders like that, I would actually go to the modding website like this. And it's it's kind of the same thing as what you do in the mod browser where you would just download this uh, zip file, extract it, and put it into the, the gear folder. That's it. Another thing too for PC users is the gear utilities mod by Dog Vinci. So this is a pretty popular mod. Uh, this is for like accessories, hair, beards. There's a lot of stuff in here that you can do that isn't available on console, unfortunately, but this is a you know, pretty cool option too. So I'll leave a link to everything you guys need below. So I have hair and these are all custom uh, hair options that aren't available in the game normally, bro. What the heck? Custom masks too, like the face mask, uh, MF Doom. You can remove those hats. So you have these custom hats here. Uh, bandana, bucket hat, do-rag, fisherman, beanies, helmet, ski mask, top hat. There's so many different hats. Like this five panel is super nice. Look at that. If you don't have any custom gear that is specifically downloaded for this mod, all of your stuff will be white. Like you won't have any textures. So with this gear mod, you need to download textures for each piece of gear. This texture only works for this kind of hat. If I switch to the bandana, it will not work. If I switch to any other kind of hat, the texture won't be aligned properly. It'll, it'll show up, but it won't be proper. 
So what you would do for the custom gear in the gear utilities mod, if you don't have it, I believe you can still grab it from the Dog Vinci Discord. So the link below will link you to this Discord where you can grab dog stuff. And I believe all of his stuff is still here. So if you're looking for board utilities, which is the custom width and length of the, of the skateboard, there's the board utilities mod. So here's the gear utilities mod. But make sure if you want to add stuff to this, go down way at the bottom. You see gear utilities. There's a whole section right here. So there's military cap. I would download this like this. You would just, you know, click this and you would go to your documents, skater Excel, gear utilities. And then I would put it into uh, the military cap folder like this as easy as that. So I'm going to close out of here, restart the game. And now the texture will probably show up in the game. All right. So I just went out of the game and spawned back in and my character is still looking like Eminem. <laughs> but let's uh, press the gear utilities, military cap, and there's the texture. So I have this custom texture now put into the game. Beards. So my guy's looking pretty sick with that beard. Damn. Yeah, glasses too. Polo glasses. Got shades. Watches. Apple watch. G-Shock. Rolex watch. Headphones. That seems to work. Damn. Headphones. Wristband. Uh, J Boogie's Vans hat. Yo, that looks pretty sick. <laughs> so that is how you use the gear utilities mod to add custom accessories, uh, uh, essentially. After you put custom stuff from either the browser or from the modding website or the Discord or wherever you got it from, if you put it into the right spot, it will show up in these custom sections. So custom skin tone, custom hair, custom headwear, custom skin tone. I have my own skin. This was made by Thumbflick. Let's throw this in the game. This is my face. Looks, you know, pretty close, I guess. Think of the socks as a tattoo. So the socks are tattooed onto the guy's skin. So if I go to custom skins here, so this one, I have my custom f face and skin with black thrift socks that is actually tattooed right onto my guy's leg. This one, I have the gold stripe one. There's these socks. I have the white socks. I'll leave a link to Thumbflix Discord where, where you can request uh, to get your own face in the game. So he's doing commissions for this currently. It does cost, I believe, 35 US. And there's probably a pretty lengthy wait list for this kind of stuff, but you can still inquire if you'd like. So if you go to custom shoes, there should be a bunch of Karyumas now too. Yeah, very right here. Karyuma. Got the Kativa Pro Blacks. These are currently what I'm rocking IRL. So let's rock these. You got the Pro Black and Whites. And now... Let's put on custom pants. So this is going to work a little bit differently. So if you look over here, we have Evan Smith. We have Tom Asta, Brandon Westgate, Tiago Lemos. These guys look awesome. I don't know why they have like they have great looking clothing, but they're not available on the custom character at all. So you have to do a couple workarounds on piece to get this working. And it's not hard after you learn it. So it looks a little bit complicated at first, but it's not hard. And we're going to get into it right now. The, the shirts do not work, unfortunately. The, the, the size of your custom character and the size of the pro characters are not the same. So your, your chest and your arms will poke out of the shirt and stuff. So just stick to the pants and that applies to this too. So like if you, if you want the, the female character, you can put skinny, like you can put her pants onto the male character if you want, but just keep in mind that the, the butt comes included with the pants. You can put on skinny jeans. You can put on Evan Smith's pants. You can put on these, you know, S cargo pants, Brandon Westgate's pants are pretty sick too. And Tiago's, these are, these are the baggy pants. So if you're looking to install baggy pants in the game, this is how you would do it. Say you want to install the light blue pants instead of the dark ones. Ones. What I would do is, is go to Tiago, pan dark blue. You can change whatever's here. So put on whatever color pants you want to put onto your custom character. That'll make it a little bit easier for you. So this is for PC only. You cannot do this on console, unfortunately. But this is why it gets pretty, pretty insane. So follow along with this, guys. Go to this PC. We're going to go to our main drive again. So our local drive C. Uh, we're going to go to users, go to your name, whichever one you're signed into probably. And right here, you're, you probably can't see the folder, but you need to go to app data or app data. So it's, it's grayed out. If you go, if you can't see the app data folder, go to view at the top and click this hidden items right here, because this will show it app data, go to local low, easy day studios, skater XL players. And then you can go, this is where your custom stuff is. So if you're missing, like if you don't see Tom Asta or Tiago or any, if you're missing stuff here, whenever you put a custom gear onto your character, it will make these. So if you have never customized Tom Asta, or if you've never customized Tiago, these will not, will not be here until you change their clothing once. So if you are looking to put Tiago's pants on, just change one piece of his gear at least one time and these will show up. All right. So we're going to open up the custom male this is my character which i am currently wearing in the game this is the guy i'm customizing and this is tom asta this is what he is currently wearing in the game 
and I'm opening up these with notepad, by the way. Um, where, where do we got? There's type M shorts khaki. The name is the black shorts I'm wearing. So these are my pants. It'll start from this beginning quote and it will finish at the end of the texture quote right here. So I can basically replace all of this, but keep in mind that uh, things are very, very case sensitive here. So you have to be, be very, very careful of what you're typing in here and pasting because things have to be properly inserted. Let's put on Tom Ass's pants first. So let's go from this quote right here. We're gonna copy all the way down to the end quote of the texture. And that is everything you need. So that's the pants, that's the shape, and that's the, te the texture. We're gonna copy with uh, control C from Tom. We're gonna go over to this side and do, this, do the same thing, but we're gonna paste it. So go from the beginning quote to the last quote, control V to paste. And now I have his pants right over here. Now I currently have Tom's pants on the custom guy, but I want a different texture. So, so if you go to the mod browser, there's a bunch of textures for Tom and for Tiago's pants. If you, if you look them up simply on the mod browser, you can find these textures for these kinds of pants. So you have to make sure that you have the textures that fit the shape of the pants that you're trying to apply them to. So in my documents folder, Skater Excel, gear, pants. This is where I keep all my pant textures. So all the default pants I have are M pants underscore, but I also, I downloaded these from the mod browser. So TA pants underscore. These are Tom Ass's textured pants. And I could put on like, say these green ones. Let's, let's put on this texture here. Currently, the texture is being pulled from this location. Character customization slash clothing slash Tom Asa slash pants. That's where the texture is coming from, but I want it to come from here instead. So what I'm gonna do is take this location where this shirt is and kind of modify it to where my pants are. So I'm gonna copy this texture, go down to the path here where the, the pants are, and I'm gonna paste it where this texture is right here and overlap it like this, control V. But this is a shirt texture, so this will not work. It's in a different location too. So I'm gonna get rid of this because it's actually in my uh, pants folder under my gear. So capital P, pants. So here it is. Users, Sean, documents, skater Excel gear slash pants. And now it's pulling from this location here, right here. And I can get this texture's name by renaming it, by just copying the name and then paste the name right in front of the PNG right here. So now, I have Tom Asta's pants, as cargo, cargo Green. If you load in the game and you're wearing default stuff, that means you messed up. And the last thing you need to do is to go to right here. It says, is custom. This is a custom texture. So we'll need to replace this false with true. Like that. So TA pants, as cargo, custom texture, pulling from this location. All you have to do next is press save. Make sure to press save or else it won't save. And that is now what my character should be wearing. So after I close this and close this and reopen Skater XL, I'll have those pants on. All right, we just spawned in and look at my guy. Look at these. I have these custom pants and now you can see why they might not be available on console because of the clipping stuff. You see how the shirt is going through the pants and stuff. So you might have to mess around with like different colors of clothing to make them match up. And that's not always noticeable. So it's not too bad. The back looks good. So whenever I'm skating, it looks, it looks great, honestly but it's just the front that kind of clips and this changes with different kinds of gear. So hoodies look okay. You know, depending on what you're wearing, uh, you'll have different dif different clipping issues like this. Let's just quickly change my skateboard too. So go to character. Sometimes I like to put on the scratch decks because they look like they're actually kind of worn. So let's put on like one of these scratch decks, custom grip tape. I have this uh, really nice, this looks like it's pink right here, but when I exit, this is 8K resolution grip tape by J Boogie. The texture, the texture of that grip is, I can zoom in for like days, like with a microscope. It's, it's insane, the texture of that. I have these Spitfire used wheels, Independence used, look at that, wow. Okay, that is my deck, that's done, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, now my head, like I'm just looking bald, I have this like slicked back gelled hair, like I, I don't know. But I like to use a little bit of the, of the gear utilities mod for this, so let's like use, let's put on hats. <clears throat> So I have a five panel hat here that I like a lot. This hat's kind of cool, but I don't have a texture for this. So what I've been doing is I go to vacation hat. Like I said earlier, these textures won't line up, but for the most part, it kind of does work like black works. For example, like I have this black vacation hat. If I click the five panel now, it will put that texture onto this hat, but it doesn't line up. So if you look at it closely, like it doesn't line up. It's kind of all over the place like this, but from afar, it still works. And there. 
and that is how you can customize your character from head to toe in skater excel and yeah other than that guys that's basically all the custom gear stuff and i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out with uh something and hopefully you picked up some tips along the way i'm sure you didn't need to know everything that's in this video but at least uh at least i kind of covered all the bases so hopefully you guys did learn something along the way and if you guys enjoyed this uh please like and subscribe on this video that actually does help me out a lot and other than that guys just a reminder that i stream skater excel on twitch um, every other day now so i'll be making videos like today is the youtube video tomorrow is a twitch stream the day after that will be a youtube video and so on so tomorrow i'll be live on twitch and yeah hope to see you guys there so give me a follow on twitch if you guys want to come see some more skater excel action ask some questions or just hang out and whatever and yeah other than that, guys, I hope to see you on the Twitch stream, but if not, I will just catch you guys in the next video. Peace.